Today we are going to say about elements of cost and cost sheet. Elements of cost. What are the elements of cost? The elements of cost are material, labor, and expenses, which are related directly uh, to the production of a particular product. And these things can be called as the elements of cost. The elements of cost that is material, labor, and the expenses can again be classified under two main categories that is direct and indirect materials, direct and indirect labor, direct and indirect expenses. So we can see about these things in detail in the forthcoming slides. What is the meaning of material? Material, material refers to the substance from which the finished product is made is called as the material. For an example, from the cloth a dress can be made, a dress material can be made. In this case, the cloth can be called as the material. Same as from the uh, rose wood or the timber, the furniture can be made. In that case, the wood can be called as the raw material. So again, this material can be classified into two main categories. One is direct material and the other one is indirect material. What is the meaning of direct material? Direct material refers to one which can be directly or easily identified in the product. Example, timber in furniture, cloth in dress, etc. These things can be easily identified in the particular product and which can be called as the direct material. And what's the meaning of indirect material? Indirect material is one which cannot be easily identified in the particular product. Examples of indirect material can be given under each category in the next slide. Examples of indirect material at factory level that lubricants, oil, consumables, etc. are still needed to produce a particular product, but these things are not directly seen in the concerned product and can, it can be called as the indirect materials. And at the office level, printing and stationery, brooms, dusters, etc. are still needed for uh, making a particular product, but still they can't be seen directly. And the selling and distribution level, packing materials, printing and stationery, etc. are still can be considered as indirect materials. And next thing is about labor. What is the meaning of labor? Labor is the human effort required to convert the materials into finished products can be called as the labor. The human effort and not the machine effort. So hum, how, how the, the human effort is required to convert the, those materials into finished products can be called as the labor where we have to spend for making a particular product. And again, these things can be classified into two main categories as direct labor and then the other one is indirect labor. What's the meaning of direct labor? Direct labor refers to one which can be conveniently identified or attributed wholly to a particular job, product or process. Example, wages paid to the carpenter, fees paid to the tailor, etc. Or these things can be considered as a direct labor where these things are directly involved in a particular product and can be easily identified in the particular product. That means the wages paid to the carpenter or the fees paid to the tailor are directly seen while we are paying those things. So these things are called as the direct labor. The next thing is indirect labor is one which cannot be conveniently identified or attributed wholly to a particular job, product or process. The examples of indirect labor can be given under each category in the next slide. Examples of indirect labor at factory level. So we have foreman salary, work manager salary, gatekeeper salary, etc. But still these things have to be paid while we are considering uh, about a factory. But while we are thinking about a particular product manufacturing, you will think only about the wages paid to the labor. And you will not consider all these things. But still, these things are still needed to be paid. And these things are called as the indirect labor. Next thing, at office level, we have accountant salary, GM salary, manager salary. Still, these things are also there while making a particular product. But we will not consider all these things. Uh, in, in, while we are thinking about a particular product production, we will not consider about all these things. You will think only about the wages paid to the particular labor who really involved in the uh, production of the particular material, direct the labors what they involved. So we, we will not consider about these uh, indirect labors. Same as at selling and distribution level, salesman salary, solicit manager salary, etc. still have to be paid and these things can be called as the indirect labor. Our next thing is about the other expenses. The ex what do we mean of other expenses? The other expenses are those expenses other than the material and the labor. 
so under this category we have two main things direct expenses and the other one is indirect expenses direct expenses refers to or those expenses which can be directly allocated to a particular job process or product example it says duty royalty special hire charges etc same as indirect expenses are those expenses which cannot be directly allocated to a particular job product or process so i consider about uh, considering about direct expenses where while they are considering about a particular product you will think these expenses are directly involved into the particular product but still there are some more expenses are still there which, which are indirectly related to the particular product which cannot be able to see here and we can see about the examples of indirect expenses in the next slide examples of indirect expenses or other expenses under each level at factory level we have factory rent factory insurance lighting etc are still to be paid and can be considered as indirect expenses same as at office level we have office rent office insurance office lighting etc same as at selling and distribution level advertising charges showroom expenses like rent insurance etc same in all the category we have rent factory or office or sales and distribution level we have the rent and other expenses but based on the particular level we can differentiate those things so these are the various things of various ex the explanations about the material labor and then the expenses and based on these informations we are going for the next slide so here we have elements of cost or material labor and other expenses where material labor and other expenses can again be classified as direct and indirect material direct and indirect labor and direct and indirect expenses and here let's just think about the direct material direct labor direct expenses all the directly related uh, rate, uh, attributes to the particular product can be considered while calculating in the cost sheet we can calculate the prime cost considering all these things same as what about the indirect aspects the indirect aspects like indirect material indirect labor indirect expenses can all all can be together called as the overheads and these overheads can be based on the various levels of the production this can be divided as production or works overheads administration overheads or selling and distribution overheads so we can see about these overheads in detail or what are the items will be covered under these overheads in detail in the forthcoming slides so in this slide we are going to see about the factory overheads or the production overheads or we can also be called as the manufacturing overheads where the uh, overheads which are related to the particular production stage of a particular product so we can see these things these are the maximum overheads which will come under the uh, various problems so i have just given only the nutshell of those things so we can see one by one so first one is rent rates taxes of the factory building these things are related only for a particular factory or a production of the plant factory plant then factory telephone charges factory repairs and maintenance heating and lighting expenses in the factory same as salary factory manager foreman supervisor etc power and fuel insurance of factory building machinery workers then uh, at the same time bonus overtime and leave wages uh, salary and fees to factory directors drawing of a salary salary to storekeeper factory printing factory printing and stationery gas steam coal charges cleaning and haulage charges indirect material like nuts bolts screws nails etc so these are the various uh, items or the various heads what we can see while uh, doing a particular problem so these things can be con uh, maximum or related to a particular factory and they, that's why these expenses these overheads can be given under the factory overheads or production overheads or we can even call this as manufacturing overheads or works overheads and next we are going for the next one about the office overheads or administration overheads so these are the overheads where we can meet at the office level or administration level so there are each very these are the various uh, maximum categories what we can find in maximum problems the first one is office salaries rent rates taxes lighting etc then directors fees office insurance it's related to the office building office staff and office appliances then printing and stationery postage and stamp charges uh, that is related to the uh, related to the office then office telephone telegrams and fax charges legal charges fix make a note legal charges and public relation expenses will come under office overheads then office lighting heating and repairs then depreciation 
to the building the question uh, regarding the office building i am not about the factory it is regarding the office building will come under the office overheads and as office furniture and office appliances will come under the office overheads the next is audit fees on counting house salary general expenses higher charges of office machinery and these things are these are the various things where we can see about the office overheads or administration overheads these are the maximum categories of maximum headings what we have can see in the many maximum problems and next we are going to see about the selling and distribution overheads so these are the various overheads what we can uh, see under the selling or after the production is over we will go to selling and distribution level at that level we can see all these overheads and the first one is salesman salary commission traveling expenses trade and cash discounts allowed please make a note trade and cash discount allowed can be given only under the selling and distribution overheads please make a note and same as the brokerage then branch expenses sample expenses so sample expenses again we will get, make it as the sample things what we are uh, sample uh, uh, sachets what we will uh, uh, be giving uh, we will be giving along with the product to boost the sales again we will be coming under these expenses next thing is expenses for catalogs and price lists printing and stationery postage and selling uh, department packing materials and delivery van expenses uh, rent taxes on good own and warehouse please make a note this will come only under selling and distribution overheads next advertising expenses and budgets and the next one is salary of sales manager and other sales staff and after sales service charges so then free gifts and collection charges still free gifts are still uh, will be given from our expenses so again will be taken as the selling and distribution overhead so these are the various categories under the selling and distribution overheads where it can be made under the under the selling and distribution level